What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your RDA C5 digital to analog converter and headphone amp. They come in two colors of black and silver but the setup for each is the exact same. As you can see it comes with a converter itself, a USB cable, and a power adapter. So what a digital to analog converter does is take the audio signal coming from any device like your computer, television, gaming console, etc and turns it into a high fidelity line level analog signal. This is great to use with a pair of headphones because of the headphone output and you can also use the RCA outputs to pair it with a power amp with passive speakers. So first let's go over how to set this up with a MacBook and a PC. So I'm going to take the USB cable, I'm going to take the USB B end and plug it into the back of the converter, then I'm going to take the USB A end and plug it into my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the converter now. And because we're using the converter with a USB device, we're going to want to switch the select on the front of the converter to USB mode. We're going to go into the sound settings of our computer and go to the output section. Then we're going to want to search for the device that reads RDAC5 and click on that to select it as the output device. So now we can plug a pair of headphones into the converter, raise the volume knob, and now we should be hearing everything coming from our computer out of our headphones. Now the cool thing about using the digital to analog converter is that we get to hear the highest resolution of audio, which means we can also take it one step further and adjust the sample rate and bit depth that's coming out of our computer audio. To do that on your Mac, you'll want to go to the audio MIDI settings, go to the audio output device, so in this case it's the RDAC5, then you'll want to go to this format section here where you'll see a drop down menu, and from there you can adjust the sample rate and bit depth. So keep in mind, the higher you go in your sample rate or bit depth, the higher resolution you'll hear coming out of the converter. So to do this on your PC, you're actually going to go to the speaker icon on the bottom right corner of your screen, right click and then go into the open sound settings menu. Next you're going to look at the right side of your screen here to find the sound control panel. Find the device you're using as your playback, so in this case that's the RDAC5. Right click to go to the properties menu, then you'll want to go into the advanced tab and then from there you'll see this default format menu which allows you to change the sample rate and bit depth. And again the higher you go in this setting the higher resolution you'll hear. We can also use the digital to analog converter with a power amp that doesn't have a built-in preamp with some passive speakers. The benefit of using this setup is that each item is helping make your audio system sound much better. So while the digital to analog converter is taking the digital audio from your source and switching it over to analog that will then run to your power amp and play the highest resolution of audio through the speakers. So if we had a smart TV, we can pair it with this setup we got going on here. To do that, I'm going to take an optical cable, I'm going to plug one end into the back of my TV, then I'm going to plug the other end into the back of the converter. Next, you want to go into the sound settings of your TV and switch the output to audio out optical. Next, we're going to connect the converter to the power amp with an RCA cable. We're going to plug one end into the RCA output on the back of the converter, then plug the other end into the RCA input on the back of your power amp. Next we'll want to use the select switch on the front of the converter and switch it to optical mode. And now we should be hearing the audio coming from the TV out of our speakers in high fidelity. We can also use the same exact approach to connect the converter to any home audio receivers, active bookshelf speakers, tower speakers, and much more. Now you can also have a similar setup with your gaming console and connect that to your converter to get high resolution audio through your gaming setup. So we're going to connect our console to the converter with an optical cable. We're going to plug one end into the back of the console. Then we're going to plug the other end into the back of our converter. You'll also want to switch the audio output on your console to optical mode. And from here we can either use the RCA outputs to connect to a power amp, active bookshelf speaker, etc. Or we can plug a pair of headphones right into the converter for an immersive experience. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RDA C5 digital to analog converter and headphone amplifier. But of course if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.